Does any American in their right mind believe our country can be easily fixed and Americans can go about their business as before? What is happening to America, you ask? We are being attacked on all sides by lies from our leaders and government. The poisonous propaganda that is being spewed out by mainstream media collaborators, constant violations by government of our constitutional rights, unconstitutional spying and storing all manner of communications of Americans, waging illegal wars and forcing our country into bankruptcy. Scandals and attacks on our constitutional liberty are being exposed now on an almost daily basis. The monitoring, recording, and storage of all communications by the National Security Agency or the NSA. The IRS is making all manner of attacks on individuals, companies, churches, nonprofit companies based on political prerogatives and ideology. The United Nations Agenda 21 forces takeover of our guns and local American communities by cooperating Congress and government. This is a challenge, or I should say an outright attack on the sovereignty of America. There are violations of our individual constitutional rights constantly at local and regional levels as well. The Affordable Health Care Act was forced upon the American people by a Democratic majority in the House of Representatives and the Senate without one Republican vote. Are you involved in the political process? Are you waking up enough to involve yourself and become a part of the Constitutional Republic of America? Are you involved enough to say you are joined with other Americans? Can you say you are part of government, of the people, by the people, and for the people? Are you going to let the out-of-control spending, increasing debt, and eventual failure of our country continue unchecked? Are you going to keep your mouth shut and let the financial hacks and criminal bankers continue to wage their financial war on America? What if it's too late? Do you have any idea what it will mean if the un-American forces that are working to destroy and undermine our country right now are allowed to continue? Do you have any idea what it will mean if we cannot take back the House of Representatives in 2014? Do you realize the despots in our government will have their own will and will definitely be in control. The communists, the New World Order, the globalists, and other criminals are now moving into control of America. We slowed the progressive communist agenda when we elected over 70 Tea Party candidates to the House of Representatives in 2010. The government ran roughshod over America when they had a majority of progressives or communists in the House of Representatives and the Senate. Allied with our president, there was no stopping them, which resulted in the Affordable Health Care Act, which is commonly known as Obamacare, being forced through to passage without a single consenting vote from any member of the Republican Party. Now this is really something that should get everyone's attention. What do you think about over 600 internment camps that have been quietly built and prepared in remote places in America? 
Why would we ever need such a thing in America? Our government and our president have not denied the existence of these internment camps. They called FEMA camps. Words are just words. They can call them anything they like, and still these camps are constructed architecturally as prisons or concentration camps. Our own government has admitted they have enough camps to house over 20 million people in these camps. You cannot visit these camps, and our government maintains top security and no flyovers of these camps. We can see the camps from space using the Google Earth and map applications on the internet. There are also internet sites that um, describe the locations and tell you all about these camps. So don't be stupid enough to believe the government when they tell us they want to take the guns for peace and safety. Do you have any idea how important the Second Amendment to the Constitution is to your freedom? The Second Amendment to the Constitution is one of the most important, well-thought-out amendments to our Constitution. Here is this small sentence with some of the most powerful words ever written. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This is right is so important. Let me repeat it if you miss the whole of it. This is just one sentence. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. I want you to think on these things. The founders and creators of our country and constitution were exposed to tyranny from Britain and in the countries they migrated from to America. They understood tyranny. They knew the psychological impact of the right to bear arms was very powerful. They knew Americans might easily lose hope when the dark forces of tyranny were competently applied. They knew without the right to bear arms, the people could lose hope in their ability to stop tyranny. Yes, our founders knew these things and were determined that we should never give up our guns or the ability to protect and defend our constitutional rights. Our founders knew there would come times when the Constitution would come under attack and despots would do their best to do away with the Constitution. Our founders knew without any uncertainty the people had to have that magic right to defend themselves, their property, and their freedom. The Second Amendment is a cornerstone amendment of our fallen founders who knew it would always provide the recourse for Americans to save the republic. Our founders knew and expected there would come times when Americans would have to resist and take action against despotic, controlled government and tyranny. Our founders knew the power of tyranny, and they gave us a tool to stand and prevent oppression by our own government. In other words, our founders expected trouble in the future. They knew times of tyranny would come upon America. Our founders expected trouble 
in the future, and they expected us to resist tyranny with the powers given to us in our constitutional rights. As citizens of the United States, we are expected to protect and defend the Constitution and our liberty as our solemn duty as Americans. Our government has strayed many times in the past 60 years. Our government has allowed the murder of babies since 1973 predicated on the specious rule of the Supreme Court in the Roe versus Wade ruling, which forced upon America by evil judges. The ruling is unconstitutionally unconstitutional and basically reads just like the old Jim Crow laws that ruled Negroes in America were not citizens, nor they were entitled to the rights of citizens of the United States. The Jim Crow laws were eventually overturned, and every American that understands them clearly knows they were oppressive and evil laws. The abortion ruling could have been overturned many times in the past 40 years. All it would have taken is legislation that was ratified by our government, making the child in the womb a citizen of the United States and to, entitled to all the protections of the Constitution. Yes, the horrible Jim Crow-styled ruling by the court has continued unabated as law in America. Our leaders in Congress and Americans, yes, we, Americans, have allowed that ruling to persist for the past 40 years, allowing the murder of over 50 million babies. Now, this is very important information and should not be ignored. This wasn't a, a, a discussion about abortion. It has a, a much more profound meaning. The government has consented to the murder of 50 million human babies. Do you really think the government would have any qualms for killing other humans without prejudice? The government has no problem with allowing the murder of babies. In kind, the government will kill you with no qualms or afterthoughts as well. Hitler ravaged his murderous spree on Europe and the end result was approximately 50 million people were murdered in Europe during his reign. All manner of un-American factions are now doing their best to move into control of America. The mainstream media and other collaborators, including the United Nations and our own government, are joined in solidarity against the will of the American people and our Constitution. These interests have bitter solutions for the future of America, which will include doing away with the Constitution, property rights, unprecedented oppression, and other abuses of Americans. God forbid they should have genocide as one of their priorities, but you cannot rule it out. This could very well explain the large number of FEMA camps scattered across America and the secrecy that surrounds information about those camps. Do you realize American leaders in our own apathy have allowed the despots and criminals to become empowered in America? The consequences of lazy, uncaring, and, un and apathetic Americans, well, they're being usurped or forced upon us. Will Americans wake up or will we allow history to repeat itself? Do you find it interesting that all the so-called attacks against our constitutional rights and American liberty 
are justified by our government with the excuse to provide peace and safety. Do you realize these comforting words were framed and spoken for thousands of years? Do you honestly think peace and safety is a valid explanation? Yes, it is a clear explanation of what to expect if you will hear it from the Bible. 1 Thessalonians 5, 3. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they shall not escape. Their own tyrannical mouths, the despots and tyrants, are prophesying to Americans. They probably don't know it, but they are. Will we allow history to repeat itself as Satan's demonic hordes or a raid against America to destroy us? I believe Americans are waking up, but will it be soon enough to stop the great fall of America? Can America be saved? Yes, I'd like to believe it can, but the real question that needs to be answered is this. Are the American people willing and dedicated enough to become involved to save America? Get involved with your tea parties. They are constitutionally oriented. They want small government, and they believe in God. Americans love their shiny cars, worthless stuff, and possessions. Americans continue to embrace the things that won't matter if America falls. America has become a reproach to the rest of the world because of all the known corruption, wars, and negative intervention in the affairs of other nations. The American people have been subject to the most heinous subversions of their morals and common decency among themselves for the past 50 plus years. The powerful influences of the mainstream media, television, and Hollywood for these past 50 years have steadily undermined and denigrated Judeo-Christian values. The values which provided the guidelines that made America a great and respected nation. From the Bible, again, Proverbs 14, 34, Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any nation.